oversee Markarth smelter. Worker gets out of line, I get him back in line. Whatever you want to know, I don't care. I run a smelter, that's it. Fine. I did notice something odd the last time we handed out the pay. Little extra slip of paper for Waylon. Took it right to his room after he got it. You want Garvey. He handles the keys for the Warrens. About the only thing that disease-riddled native is good for. All right, then. I trust you're not planning any trouble. What can I do for you, friend? The Warrens isn't a place for your type. What do you want? It's where you go when you can't afford a room anywhere else. About the time they opened the mines, someone got the idea to throw beds in here. Laborers, the sick, the lame, we're all here. That's right. Welcome to Markarth, traveler. Thank the divines you can choose to live somewhere else. Everyone who sleeps in the Warrens. Kind of the one who passes the keys around. I guess someone else will be taking his room now. Sorry, but you don't exactly belong here. Trust is hard to come by here. But all right. Until next time. You don't want to be here. No one wants to. I don't know anyone here who doesn't have rattles or ataxia. The Warrens isn't a place for your type. What do you want? You've been digging around where you don't belong. It's time you learned a lesson. Let's go. Come on, let's see what you're made of. <laughs> I got enough of you. Do your work. I'll fix you good. Damn you. No. a pit bait. I was sent by Nepos the Nose. The old man hands out the orders. He told me to make sure you didn't get in the way. That's all I know, I swear. Staying safe, I hope.
all, you could cast a few spells. Am I supposed to be impressed? to just go and cause trouble. Now we have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence witnesses. Work, work, work. Same thing we do with all the other natives who want to change things around here. We had a nice little deal going between Thonar and Madanach until you and Elthris started snooping around. Well, you wanted to find the man responsible for those killings. You'll have plenty of time with the king and rags when you're in Sidna Mine. I thought that only happened once you talked with Naples. You'll never leave Markarth. Staying out of trouble, Kinsman. I work silver, like my father, and his father before him. Excuse me, what's your business here? We haven't been expecting you, and the old man needs his rest. Come back some other time. Hey, it's okay, my dear. Stand here. <laughs> yes, Nepos. You heard him. Go on in. I'm sorry about my housekeeper. She's a little protective of me. Now, what is it you want? Ah, yes. You've proven to be a real bloodhound. Well... You've sniffed me out. I've been playing this game for almost 20 years. Sending the young to their deaths. All in the name of the Force Woman. And I'm tired. So tired. A monster? No. I'm just a servant. To my king, Madanok. When the uprising fell at the hands of the Nords, they threw him in the mines. I don't know how. But he lives. I get his messages, and I hand out his orders without question. Markarth and the Reach are our lands. That is why we are the Forsworn. We cannot claim the home that is rightly ours. But then, during their war with the Elves, we had our moment. We drove the Nords out of the Reach in a great uprising. Then Ulfric and his men came. Those of us who didn't run were executed, except for myself, my king, and a handful of others. He is the king in rags, a man who once held all the reach within his grip. He stokes the passions of the downtrodden in this city, directs them to kill the enemies of the Forsworn in our name. All from inside Sidna Mine, a Nord prison. The irony is quite thick. My dear boy, what makes you think you're getting out of here alive? You were seen coming in. The girl at the door is a Forsworn agent masquerading as a maid. You aren't the first one to have gotten this far. You won't be the last. I'm sorry. Oh, no, you don't. <laughs>
dragon to attack Kain's court. Why? Why then? Still here. How can I serve you, my Thane? You lead. I'll follow. I'm right behind you. I will remain on guard here. We heading as you will, my Thane. I will. to just go and cause trouble. Now we have to pin all these recent murders on you. Silence witnesses. Work, work, work. Same thing we do with all the other natives who want to change things around here. We had a nice little deal going between Thonar and Madanak until you and Eltris started snooping around. Well, you wanted to find the man responsible for those killings. You'll have plenty of time with the king in rags when you're in Sydney Mine. You'll never see the sun again, you hear me? No one escapes Sydney Mine. No one. Prisoner, eyes front. You're in Sydney Mine now, and we expect you to earn your keep. There's no rest in your hide in a cell in this prison. Here you work. You'll mine ore until you start throwing up silver bars. You got it? You'll pay off your debt to the Reach. Just work, and you'll earn your freedom. All right, open her up. Now you, get down there. What are you in for, new blood? Innocent. So was I. For the first one. The other murders were all me, though. My advice? Serve your time at the pickaxe and get out. You don't want to end up getting a shiv in the guts over a bottle of skooma. Small blade. Easy to hide. I mean, sure, you could just swing a pickaxe into someone's face, but people tend to see that coming. Got a problem with a prisoner? Get a shiv. Here, Grisvar has a spare, if you could get him to part with it. Bottles of moon sugar. Khajiit use it as a pick-me-up. Good way to pass the time. Prisoners smuggle the stuff in. Only currency we have down here. They come in here once a week to clean out the bodies, grab any ore we've mined, and beat down the troublemakers. That's the only time when we get food, too. And if there's not enough ore mined up, we don't get any. A Nord nobleman I served was stabbed in the night. Wasn't me, but I knew I'd be blamed. So I ran, joined the Forsworn, started killing, got caught. Now I'm here. Because life was better under the old ways. No Nords and their laws. One day, the Forsworn will paint the walls of Markarth in your kinsman's blood. Best you not be there on that day, Nord. Is that a threat? If you're asking, that means you're the new lifer. Tough luck, friend. Those guards sold you out, but good. No one talks to Madinak, I'm afraid. Not without getting past Borkel the Beast. And you don't want to talk to Borkel the Beast. Madinak's guard. Big, even for an orc. Heard he ripped a man's arm off and beat him to death with it. 
He's old fashioned like that. Now, if you'll excuse me. The new meat. So soft, tender. What was it like killing your first one, huh? Liar. Guards brought me in about 12 years ago. Was running a good group of bandits up until then. But these Forsworn, they're nothing like the men I cobbled together. They're real killers. Murder, banditry, assault, theft, and lollygagging. You want to talk to the king in rags? Fine. But first you gotta pay the toll. How about you get me a shiv? Not that I need one, but it's nice to have one in case I need to do some shaving. <laughs> Don't try anything in there. Modernock knows more than you think. Mm -hmm. I left behind my daughter, Wale, when I was taken. I was sent here because someone said I was a Forsworn. A couple of years. I wasn't a Forsworn when I came, but I joined up when I got in. Easier that way. Guards say I murdered someone. I was just sleeping off some meat in my aunt's house. But that didn't stop them from arresting me. I don't even know who they said I killed. Mm hmm until next time. Jarl decided I was too much of a problem. Threw me in here with the Forsworn. The first time, thieving. The second time, thieving. The third time, thieving. It kind of keeps going like that. First it was six months, then a year, then two years. Now I'm in for life. Ah, you want protection? I can get you what you need. Maybe you could do something for me first. Duok has a bottle of skooma, finest distilled moon sugar. I'm shaking just thinking about it. Thank you, friend. Don't worry. I'll have that shiv ready for you. I got locked up one too many times. Now I'm in for life. Don't reach for a shiv around me or we'll both regret it. What do you want? I'm digging to do. I don't want to talk about it. Long enough. Till next time. I was sent here because someone said I was a Forsworn.
Prisoners get suspicious when we talk to each other, so keep... Whenever I get out of here, I'm gonna kill a Nord. Year seven, I think. Surprised I haven't cut my own throat out by now. But something keeps me going. I'm a Forsworn. One of our raids went bad and I got captured. Would have been fine dying for the Reach with my kinsmen. But the Silver Bloods want their ore mine, so they threw me in here. You give me one more look, and I cut you open. That skooma's mine. Getting the shakes, huh? All right, take it. Old gods keep you. See you. Now, if you'll excuse me. Here's your ship. Promise you won't ever use it on me, okay? All right, then. You serve your time by digging, so dig. Your kinsmen have turned you into an animal, Nord. A wild beast caged up and left to go mad. So, my fellow beast, what do you want? Answers about the Forsworn? Revenge for trying to have you killed? Do I? What about you? What right did you have to meddle in my affairs? Kill my people? Was it worth it? Your truth? You're one of us now, you see? A slave. The boot of your kinsman stepping on your throat. Maybe if you understood that, I could help you. So many say that, at first, until they realize the truth. If you change your mind, speak to Bragg. Tell him I sent you. I want you to know how widespread the injustice of Markarth is. This was our land. We were here first. Then the Nords came and put chains on us, forbid us from worshipping our gods. Some of us refused to bow. We knew the old ways would lead us back to having a kingdom of our own. That is who we are. The Forsworn. Criminals in our own lands, and we will cut a bloody hole into the Reach until we are free. I had Markarth. My men and I drove the Nords out. We had won. So we thought. Retribution was swift. I was captured, quickly tried, and sentenced to death. But my execution never came. Thonar's Silverblood stopped it. He wanted the Forsworn at his call, that I would point their rage at his enemies and spare his allies. And I have. Humiliating at first, but I knew he would let his guard down eventually, that he would come to trust I was under control. Remember, it was the Nords who locked you up. Not so bad. Less complaints when I kill people. Don't reach for a shiv around me or we'll both regret it. Story, huh? Everyone in Sidna Mine has a tale. 
Let's hear yours first. When was the first time you felt chains around your wrists? Uh, so you know what it's like to have your life in someone else's hands. Why should they get to decide? Isn't judgment for the gods? Do you have any family? Anyone waiting for you on the outside? I had a daughter once. She'd be 23 this year. Married to some hot-headed silver worker, or maybe on her own, learning the herb trade. The Nords didn't care who was and who wasn't involved in the Forsworn Uprising. I had spoken to Modenac once. That was enough. But my little Aethra didn't want to see her papa leave her. She pleaded to the Jarl to take her instead. And after they made me watch as her head rolled off the block, they threw me in here anyway to dig up their silver. I'm not Manadnak. I was never a leader of the Forsworn. The only anger I can justify is my own. But every family in the Reach has a story like mine. There are no innocent onlookers in this struggle, just the guilty and the dead. My daughter is the one who needs your pity. I'm just a poor forsworn whose only regret is not killing more Nords before I was locked up. All right then. Okay, so that gets everybody in trouble. Okay. You, my friend, need practice. The only one I, I need to kill at some point is a uh, monarch. I left behind my daughter, Uale, when I was taken. Do you remember the sun? Yeah, imagine hearing a story like that over and over. Each time a different family, each time a different injustice. Your meddling above ground reminded me of how removed I've been from the struggle. My men and I should be in the hills, fighting. Huh. You know, I'm almost beginning to like you, but you haven't earned your place out of here yet. Have you met Grisbar the Unlucky? He's rightly named, and he's also a thief and a snitch. He's outlived his minor usefulness. Take care of him, and then we can leave Sidna Mine for good. Oh, you're Our not gonna leave here. Come. Monarch's got to die. Jarl, I got locked up one too many times. Now I'm in for life. No, don't kill me! Please! sent here because someone's you're back yeah imagine you're meddling above ground Re huh. have you met he's outlived his minor usefulness take care of him and then we can leave Sidna mine for good 
You serve your time by digging. So dig. Jarl decided I was too much of a problem. Threw me in here with him. I got locked up. What? No! No, don't kill me! Please! Prison's not so bad. Less complaints when I kill people. you finally become one of us. Come with me. I think it's time I announced my plans to you and your new brothers. Never should have come here! No, I'm not signing with Monocon. I'm Monoc. Do you remember the sun? Aww. You're not getting anything from me, huh? <laughs> <laughs> He's a bit too strong. So I've got no choice but to help the motherfucker. I don't want that. Oh well. You finally become one of us. Come with me. I think it's time I announced my plans to you and your new brothers. What's going on, Madinak? You wouldn't have old Grisvar killed unless you weren't planning on needing him. My brothers, we have been here long enough. It's time to leave Sidna Mine and continue our fight against the Nords. Through this gate, just beside my quarters, is a tunnel. A tunnel that leads right through the old dwarven ruins of Markarth, into the city. Well, what do you say, my brothers? The Reach the Forsworn! Fuck the Forsworn. I say you've earned an early pardon. Let's go. It's a little gift from the dwarves. Who knew they would end up helping our cause? We have to move. We'll talk more once we see the sky.
Be careful. while I have a word with our favorite outsider. I had Kai recover all the things the Nord stole from you. You better get ready before we break out into the city. And take this. It's blessed with the old magics. Something to remember me by. Time to finally see the sky and make it rain red. I had Kai recover and take this. It's blessed. Now, I announce to all of Markarth that I have returned. Don't worry about your name. They'll know who to blame and fear after today. It'll take years, but I'll organize the Forsworn again. We'll reclaim our land, and then when power is ours, we'll have peace. A kingdom. Until then, let me offer you a warning. Beware the Forsworn. No place in the Reach is safe from us now. Madanak, think you can escape my prison, do you? You'll pay for what you've done to my family. Your family? You poisoned the Reach with your tainted silver for long enough, Thonar! Come on! Come on!
are you doing? What are you doing? I'm on your side. No, you're not. What are you doing? What are you doing? Please. What are you doing? What are you doing? Watch it. What are you doing? What are you doing?
Come on in. The Silverblood Inn has plenty of strong drink and clean rooms. Force, this is the Silverblood Inn. I'll let you figure out who owns it by yourself. If I can't get you something, sure thing, it's yours for a day. Did you hear? The Hall of the Dead is closed. I'll show you to your room, right this way. Remember, ale is cheaper than blood in Markarth. I've got your back. Let me know if I am sworn else. to carry your burdens. Let's get going then. 